Good morning, everyone. We're here to demand that Luft Fiddler stop using the memory of murdered Jews throughout the generations and centuries in order to score false and libelous and malicious political points to win an election. Luft Fiddler has made the most outrageous claims one can possibly make based on absolutely non-existent evidence. Seven years ago, I wrote an article about Jews and Palestinians being genetically similar. Someone happened to link to that article without my knowledge. Seven years later, I find out that Lou Fiddler is accusing me of being tied to some people of whom I didn't even know for all these years. The facts are that I'm a Jew, that I'm a Zionist, that I go to, the, to a synagogue, to this synagogue, that I've been to Israel multiple times, I have family in Israel. My brothers and my cousins have served in the Israel Defense Forces. I've organized rallies for Israel. I've attended rallies for Israel. I've organized a Jewish club in my law school. I participated in all sorts of Jewish courses and organizations. And I've spoken on Israel's behalf, on TV, on radio, in newspapers, on behalf of the Jewish community. And this is this charge could not be more false. Mr. Fiddler issued a libelous charge because he knew he was losing this election. But Mr. Fiddler needs to understand that the way to help the community is not to call each other names. It is not to abuse the memory of six million Jews, many of whom were my relatives, all four of my grandparents. All four of them had their families wiped out during the Holocaust. In 1989, a relative of mine, my great uncle, was tortured to death for being a Jew. My family has known more pain of anti uh, from anti-Semitism, from Nazism, from extremism than most families can imagine. And for Mr. Fiddler to make that accusation is offensive not just to me, but to every Jew, and to every Russian, and to every other person who suffered from extremism, and to every decent person who knows that politics should not be about the gutter, politics should not be about name calling, politics should be about making a difference. Mr. Fiddler, you need to apologize for what you've said. You know, you know that what you've said is false. I'm not here to explain myself to your false and libelous and malicious charge. I'm here to say that you, Mr. Fiddler, need to apologize. And you, Mr. Fiddler, need to apologize not just to me. I'm not an issue here. You need to apologize to the Jewish community. And that's why the Jewish community leaders are here to say that you need to apologize to every single Jew for abusing the memory of their relatives. This is uh, Mr. Uh, Gedalia Weinberger. Chairman of the Agudat Israel Organization. Good morning. I'm not here to endorse any candidate. I'm here to strongly protest what I consider to be an egregious act that was committed by Mr. Fiddler. He may have served the community over many years and possibly did it well, but that is no excuse for someone to use terms which are offensive to, the can to, his to his opposing candidate and offensive to the whole community. I am a constituent of this district in which this election is being held, and I strongly protest the terminology used by Mr. Fiddler. For him to use the terms and say that Mr. Strogan has ties with skinheads, neo-Nazis, and white supremacist groups is not only false, but is really an insult to all of us. Both my parents are survivors of the Holocaust. They lost their families almost in its entirety during They lost their families almost entirely during the war. And for someone to call a fellow Jew a Nazi or having ties with Nazis is never forgivable. It is never appropriate. We ask Mr. Fiddler to be de 
Nissen to apologize for a statement which he should never have made. The apology is not one that he has to make to Mr. Strobin alone, but to his constituents and to the entire Jewish community. Thank you. Mr. Fiddler, there is a reason, there is a reason why people dislike politicians. And this is the reason. Because to win an election, politicians will do anything and say anything, including calling a Zionist Jew and Nazi. And Nazi. There is nothing, there is nothing more offensive than that. And that is what you call someone? Mr. Fedler, do the right thing. Apologize. Not to me, but to the Jewish community that has suffered from Nazism. And to the Russian community that has suffered from Nazism. And to the and to every other person who suffered from extremism for abusing the memory of their suffering.